The 555 timer makes a, a really good oscillator for low frequencies, um, anything below sort of about 500 kilohertz. Um, and it's very simple to put together the circuit because it's just an integrated circuit, a few resistors and uh, a capacitor. So I've got a switch here where I can select a, a three different capacitors to, to set the range to different frequency ranges. And the top resistor, which is used to charge and discharge, I've set at quite a low value uh, because as it's used uh, in the charging and discharging process, the lower the value, the less it will affect the mark space ratio. So I want to try and keep the mark space ratio as a, a reasonably um, similar sort of time uh, to, to make a nice uh, uniform square wave. Uh, and then the second uh, resistor, which I've got as a variable resistor and a, a standard uh, resistor as well. And I've selected the standard resistor. It's been the same value as the the other resistor so that I can get um, down to, so, it, so that this never becomes a short uh, if I've got the potentiometer all the way to, to one end. And the potentiometer allows me to change the frequency. Uh, so this is like a frequency adjustment and then a range selection down here. Uh, but that, that's that's the, all the components that are required to make the oscillator. So here's um, a circuit where, where I've built up a 555 timer. Uh, so I've got the integrated circuit, I've got a potentiometer to adjust the frequency and also a switch to, for, to select one of three ranges. And I'll power this up. So I've got the circuit connected up to my little um, oscilloscope and it's creating a, a frequency. So I can adjust the just the frequency by adjusting the potentiometer. So it's the, making the frequency higher and lower. And I'll change the range. All the way up to the highest range. It, it keeps a good square wave. Uh, it distorts slightly at the top top range, but that some of that could be the sampling rate of the oscilloscope. So I'm pushing the oscilloscope right now to the top top range, uh, and it starts to distort a fair amount at the very top. So that's the very top range that I've got it selected, and that's five uh, eighty five kilohertz. Uh, so it makes a really good, uh, uh, cheap and easy to put together oscillator uh, for simple circuits. Uh, it's kind of low range still at frequencies, uh, but I'll take a look into higher range oscillators in later videos.